Hello everyone, I'm Roger. There are very few marine creatures more alien or bizarre than cephalopods. Cuttlefish is one of the cephalopod species that is easy to culture in home aquariums. My journey with cephalopods began with this flamboyant cuttlefish. Being deadly poisonous, its colorful skin is a warning sign and a protection from predators. Cuttlefish have eight arms and two tentacles and are unique in two ways. First, they can control body patterns and switch in an instant. Second, they can even change body textures at their will. Some say that most marine fish can alter skin patterns too, like this rabbit fish hiding in the red Garniopera. And others say that sea cucumbers have different body textures at different times. Although both are correct, it is cuttlefish that combine these two skills together and manage them at ease. Perhaps it's more interesting and challenging to raise cuttlefish from hatchlings to adulthood. I had my first cuttlefish egg from the coast near a pier. It was a white egg laid by a common cuttlefish. Based on a paper published on zoological studies, by the time the egg reached home, it was already at stage 16 of embryonic development, so it took around another two weeks to hatch. I found this little elephant-like creature one morning, leaving the egg on the side with a tiny hole on its surface. I also bought several black eggs from local fish stores, and I knew they were dwarf cuttlefish. Perhaps the most challenging part in raising cuttlefish hatchlings is live food. They do not eat frozen food or even live brine shrimp nucleus. Larvae of various crustaceans are their favorite food. I was lucky enough to have some shore shrimps breeding at that time. Cuttlefish began to eat on the third day post hatching. These are the larvae of shore shrimps. And this is the lava of sexy shrimp. These are baby crabs in their larval forms. Several days later, the cuttlefish were bigger and they were able to swallow pods, which I've got a plethora of from my UAS. This baby snapping shrimp has just passed its larval stage to reach its adult form. Let's see how cuttlefish reacted to their prey. I'll shoot another video to talk about how to culture micro creatures at home, but for now, let's get back on track to see how cuttlefish hatchlings grow over time. Three weeks later, they were big enough to eat missy shrimps. Dwarf cuttlefish ink a lot. Remember to skim them out with a powerful skimmer and absorb remaining substance with active carbons. And in four weeks, they could even manage to capture adult shore shrimps with claws. Cuttlefish have very good visuals and usually hunt at night unless very hungry, which made video shooting extremely difficult. Cuttlefish are intelligent animals. I'll share some of the wisdoms I observed over the past months. First, they take advantage of their strengths and opponents' weaknesses to achieve a success rate of nearly 100% to hunt at night. Second, they are able to prey on shrimps even bigger than themselves at a perfect timing, the moment the shrimps moat. 
Look at this exoskeleton the shrimp left and imagine what has happened overnight. Last but not least, cuttlefish are the only marine creatures I've ever seen that do not fight for food among the same species within a limited space of living. Look at these two similarly behaving blannies with endearing personalities. They can be quite peaceful with most tank mates, but get belligerent with each other, even though they come from different families. Cuttlefish, on the other hand, are quite social. Although this cuttlefish was hungry, it understood that fighting was not the right action to take. With such a long-term vision, it just licked the food, turned its head and left. This motivates me in thinking that they should actually be considered conscious, just like us. With that, I'm gonna say goodbye and thanks for watching.